Hello friends and welcome back to my channel, Zara Storyblock. Today I'm going to be reading for you, I Remember the Balloons, written by Jesse Olivaros and illustrated by Dana wolf Rockot. I remember the balloons. I have lots and lots of balloons, way more than my little brother. Mom and Dad have more balloons than I do. Grandpa has lived so long, he has balloon he has more balloons than all of us together. And and the stories he has inside those balloons, they're better than ponies and chocolate and, and chocolate frosting. What's what's in your yellow balloon? I asked him. Grandpa's eyes light up. We just come back from picking berries along the muddy banks of the creek. Our berries splattered faces gave Aunt Nellie's cow such a fright that she didn't make any milk for days. So there's the boy and Grandpa's in his chair and that's the story. That's him as that's him as his as he as a kid and that's his friends or siblings i think probably siblings and they gave the cow such a fright and the cow was like ah! <laughs> i thought that was so funny that i almost fell off my chair <laughs> What about that blue one, Grandpa? That's the time I lost my favorite dog, Jack. Grandpa chuckled. I found him chasing butterflies next to my schoolhouse. Only Jack could get to me to, to school on a Saturday. And, and that one... I point to a purple balloon above his head. Grandpa looks up and a smile and smiles, his face alive with remembering. That's the day I married your grandma in the little church on the on the Kedar Lane. We danced that night under the stars and oh how I loved her. That day we stood on the dock till the sun went down, feeling after a tug on our lines. Grandpa must have caught a thousand fish. Grandpa ruffles my hair like he always does. That's one of my favorite balloons. Mine too, he says. But well, Grandpa has been having problems with his balloons lately. One will get caught in the tree and he'll have to tell me the same story over and over. Let me tell you about the Christmas when I, when I went to Aunt Nellie's farm, Grandpa says, even though she just finished telling me about it. Other times a balloon would float right out of his hand and he won't even know it. Okay, Grandpa, I yell, run after it. Every time I almost reach it, but it slips away. Something, something's wrong with Grandpa, I tell my parents. He can't hold his balloons anymore. Mom looks at me with sad eyes. That happens sometimes when people grow older. Grandpa's balloons start floating away faster and faster running down the streets, up the hills, and I watch the balloons go smaller. So there, so there's the boy with his balloons, and there's Grandpa's balloon soaring in the air, He and they get smaller, and the boy can't seize them. <sighs> Sad.
he finally loses the silver one, which I watch float until he can't see it anymore. Why did you let it go? That was our balloon. Then I sat on the sidewalk and cried. I feel Grandpa pat my back, but he but he doesn't ruffle my hair like he always did. Why are you crying, child? There's nothing to cry about. One day I go see him and all his balloons are gone. Grandpa, I say, but he doesn't look at me. It will be okay, Dad says. Look up. I have new balloons. A yellow one filled with blackberries a and a cow. A blue one filled with Grandpa and his favorite dog. A purple one filled on their wedding day. See, Mom says, now they're, now they're yours to share. So I climb into Grandpa's lap about telling him about my new balloons. And that's the end of the story. So the summary of this book is that um, the boy and his family have balloons on his back. But when he visits his grandfather, he tells him about the balloons, the stories, but... But somehow they start going away, and the boy realized the gray balloon, their favorite one, has gone away. He started crying, but he but he comforted him. Then the boy grew new balloons and told his grandfather about them. And they were both very happy, cause, cause the balloons had all their memories. And anyways. I hope you enjoyed this story that I just read for you. And if you want to listen to more of my stories, please hit the huge like and subscribe button right now. Bye!